I mean, we heard from Kirk Dunn who mentioned that, you know, you know it's the disruptive marketplace right. when the people that you need to hire don't exist, exactly. right? So like the data science movement, we're gonna Absolutely. have Amr Bakar on later today, yeah. hopefully. Um, you know, when you go out to those, like the JP Morgans, because you know, it, the clear thing is that everyone's agreeing on is that yes. it's moved out of the web, okay? Exactly. It's now mainstream, you're seeing financial services, government, healthcare, blah, 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 mm -hmm. the list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. When you go out to those environments, they don't have the guy right. to support it. Yeah. Right? So it's like they got maybe someone who's a thought leader, yeah. geek, alpha geek goes in there, spins it up, runs a five node free, right. yeah. gets and plays with it and goes, boss, we can do some shit with this. Uh -huh. Excuse my language. Yeah. <laughs> and then they go, okay, uh, here's some cash. Right. And he can't hire anyone. Yeah. yeah. So you guys get the call or Cloudera gets the call. How do you support that environment? So um, it's so we're and leaning. And then how do you support the J.P. Morgans of the world? So we're 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 leaning we're leaning very heavily on our experience, right? So for example, I was the guy um, who was responsible for all of MapReduce as a service for Yahoo, right? Which meant fifty thousand machines running MapReduce. If anything went down, um, you know, we had you know level one, level two, level three. But at the end of the day, if you finally had you know one person to call at three in the morning, that would be me. Right, so it's, <laughs> it's it's great experience. It's great learning. What that means is we take that learning and we translate it into the framework. Right, we translate it into the framework, so the framework itself becomes better. And if you look at you know, uh, I can't unfortunately share stats, but you know, if you look at the number of support tickets we have for Yahoo, and it's dramatically different from what it was a couple of years ago at this point. Right, which means what has happened is we've gotten better at taking the software and making it you know, much more reliable, much more multi-tenant, that's a big deal. I mean, JP Morgan talked about this too, right? Like you said, the way this starts off is you'll have two or three alpha geeks you know, running five nodes and 10 node clusters. At the end of the day, you don't want to be running lots of 10 node clusters. You want to be running a thousand node cluster. And if you run a thousand node cluster, the challenges are very different, particularly in terms of multi-tenancy, right? Because you want to be able to, lots of people sharing one cluster is very different from one, to one or two people sharing a cluster, right? And that's one of the biggest um, you know, learning curves we've had as a team in the last uh, you know, couple of years. And we've translated a lot of that into the, you know, the release, which is the 205, which has come out recently. And with 203, the whole 2XX series is you know, um, the work we've distilled into the learnings we've made from multi-tenancy, which is something we'll see more and more of. And we're excited to see more and more. And you know, JP Morgan was a great example of that. So 